Today, we're going to talk about occlusion. Occlusion is a common test technique available on many USON testers, and it's designed to test for blockages in your system, which is used for fluid management systems, both in automotive and medical devices. I'm Jonathan Cole, the Director of Global Sales, and we have a demonstration today on the Sprint MD. I'm going to show you how to set up the occlusion test on the Sprint MD. So going, so I'm connected to the MD, I have my valve, which is currently in the open position, representing a non-occluded part. Across the function bar, I'm going to select the program menu, uh, which is going to give up, bring up the program screen where you can see I have it set for occlusion. My measurement type is set currently to pressure change. So we're going to look at the pressure drop during the measurement step. There are alternative um, techniques available as well. Uh, and then if I go to my step setup menu, I'm going to look for the measure step limit pass, pass fail the pass above the min limit limit. So there are a few options as well, but for today, the way our program is going to work is I'm going to fill it for five seconds to a target of two PSI, and then it's going to move on to the measurement step, and it's going to look for a pressure drop of one PSI. So if the pressure drop is greater than one PSI, that's going to represent a non-occluded part because there's free flow of air, and that will be a pass. If the pressure drop is less than one PSI in the measurement step, that would be an occluded part, and we would result in a fail. Going back to my home screen, I'm going to start the test. Then the system will, will fill for five seconds so that the limits of two PSI, and then it'll move on to the measurement step and it will vent and then report the results. So here, my valve is open. So my pressure drop in the measurement step was 1.689 PSI, which is greater than the one limit, resulting in the green or the pass for this part. Now I'm going to go ahead and close my valve to simulate an occluded part and start the test. So using the same program, it's, it's filling for five seconds. It's now moving on to the pressure, the measurement step. And the pressure drop in this case was 0.1437 PSI. So this is less than one. So there's a blockage in the part and no free flow of air and it's resulting in a failed part. Please uh, visit our website at usun.com where we have a new technical resource section which covers all of our uh, new test methods.